In part two of this series, let's start out with a look at the customizable red key on the left side of the Think Phone. This is an exclusive button only to the Think Phone and not other Motorola devices, but it adds functionality to Ready for features other than the desktop mode. The red button on the left side of the Think Phone is a programmable key. The single click can be set to launch pretty much any app installed on your phone. But the feature we're most interested in is the double press, which can be programmed to activate your choice of ready for features. The only one it won't activate is the desktop mode covered in part one, which is why I didn't cover it until I got to part two. To get to the setup of the red key, just hold it down for about two to three seconds. It will take you to the setup screen. Here you customize it. For the double press, you can set multiple ready for functions to activate. Choosing more than one will bring up a dialog box and you choose which one to activate. Choosing only one, it will automatically activate that feature. For this video, let's choose app streaming. The app streaming mode lets you launch your phone app on your desktop as a single standalone app. You get a window that your mouse moves in and out of just like a regular Windows app. Resizing the window dynamically maintains the correct aspect ratio. You can initiate the stream from the desktop by selecting it from the app list. There's also a handy recently used list on the left side. And if you have a huge list, you can use the search function box instead of scrolling through them. I wish there was an option to hide certain apps so that there's not so much clutter. If your phone is locked, it will ask you to accept and unlock before it can launch. The other way to initiate the stream is to have your app opened on your phone and use the red key to double click and activate the app stream. That will cast the app onto your paired ready for device. You can also go into the Ready4 app on your phone, go into the app streaming section and choose the apps to launch from there. Once started, you have a toolbar on the bottom for handy features like screenshot, sound volume and output source, screen rotation, reloading the app, and locking the phone through your desktop. You are not supposed to be able to exit the app as there is no home button or recent app. Hitting back several times will do nothing on most apps, but on certain apps it will exit the app and the window closes. Also using the share function within the app can get it to open up another app such as sharing this image with my meme generator app. As I mentioned before, this is my preferred mode for interacting with my phone. This is especially useful for image editing or apps that require a precise touch such as this GIF editor where I need to click this tiny X to delete the frame. Having the precise nature of a mouse makes it so much easier. Other apps I frequently use for this mode include a stock ticker app and also my crypto tracking app. I can have a small neat window on the side of my screen or just a small window I can go back to whenever I want to check the stock or crypto prices. Or I also like to use my home surveillance Blink app which does not have a Windows version or web access. This way I can keep an eye on my home through my desktop. Here are some interesting things to try out. You can make phone calls by launching the phone app. The audio can be routed to your desktop or laptop speakers and mic. Hi, thanks for calling Walgreens at the northeast corner of Lamb and Bonanza in Las Vegas. Para continuar en español, oprima nueve. Now, how can I help you today? You can talk to me using full phrases. For example, you could say, I'd like to refill my prescription. What are your store hours? Business hours. Would you like the hours for the pharmacy, the store? If you set up a third-party launcher such as Microsoft Launcher, which is what I'm using, and you activate the app streaming with the double click from the home screen, it will open up the home screen and a recent apps button appears after you've launched an app. But the recent apps button only works for one app, so it can only toggle between the home screen and your last opened app. Also, you are able to launch five apps at once. 
It didn't seem to matter if the app was small or large, but the sixth app will replace the fifth app. And just like the desktop mode, if the app is streamed on the desktop and you open it on the phone side, it will close the app on the desktop and vice versa. Now you can open up all your social media apps in five windows and scratch your ADHD itch five times as fast. I'm gonna help you out. I'm not even mad at you. But it's something you need to fucking hear. No one cares that you're overweight. You get your back. You eat fucking tons of food every day. You don't have to stop this shit. I can't care more than you. One thing I'm like, sir, no one can care more than yourself. If you're out here, someone to help you out. You can't help yourself out. Then you're out here. You're out here.